Hi there, I'm Edwin Palmer. Welcome to my series on intellectual giftedness. Being gifted comes with a lot of challenges and is anything but a gift. Trust me. Add ADHD to that and life can get beyond complicated. Thousands of you out there are gifted and have ADHD, so in this video, I'd like to offer three tips for anyone who has ADHD and is smarter than the average bear. Before I get to them though, let's answer these two questions. What is ADHD? ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder and is a medical condition. A person with ADHD has differences in brain development and brain activity which affect attention, the ability to sit still, and self-control. ADHD can affect a child at school, at home, and in friendships. 2. What are the signs of ADHD? Kids with ADHD may have signs from 1, 2, or all three of these categories. 2.1 they are inattentive. Kids who are inattentive have trouble focusing their attention, concentrating, and staying on task. 2.2. They are hyperactive. Kids who are hyperactive are fidgety, restless, and easily bored. They may have trouble sitting still or staying quiet when needed. Without meaning to, they may act in ways which disrupt others. 2.3. They are impulsive. Kids who are impulsive act too quickly before thinking and may have emotional reactions which seem too intense for the situation. So if you are like this in combination with being gifted, what do you do? Eric Tivers is a licensed clinical social worker, coach, and podcaster at ADHD Rewired. He's worked with many clients who are both gifted and have ADHD, and he says this. Accept that giftedness is not necessarily a gift. Both ADHD and giftedness are poorly named because ADHD is not primarily about attention deficits or hyperactivity, and giftedness can feel like anything but a gift. Eric says we intellectually gifted people can internalize expectations that everything should come easily or that we should be able to succeed at anything just because we're highly intelligent or unusually talented. He says these expectations are not appropriate in general and they are even more problematic for those with ADHD for whom some aspects of even daily living that do come easily for other people are inherently more difficult. So gifted people with or without ADHD need to accept that things can be hard for us too. 2. Practice self-compassion Especially for adults with ADHD who went undiagnosed for many years, unrealistic expectations combined with a lack of self-understanding can lead to constant self-criticism. They ask questions like, Why can't I do this? Why did I screw this up? Again. Eric suggests using the same words but changing the emphasis and tone to that of curiosity and self-knowledge, so it's better to ask questions like, Why can't I do this? Why did I screw this up again? Why is this hard? And why do I keep making that same mistake? Instead of self-criticism, he encourages his clients to take a problem-solving approach to themselves, to challenge themselves, to identify what isn't working, and to find solutions and workarounds. Once they have had that opportunity to work through a significant struggle and have some success, they can gain confidence and even begin to wonder what else they might be able to do. There are so many things that I'm really bad at, Eric admits, but I don't spend my time focusing on that stuff. I'm not ignoring it, but it's about asking for help and being okay with the fact that you need help with some things. 
Number three, find community. Whether it's giftedness, ADHD, or both, Eric says, Don't just read about it. Don't just listen to the podcast. Find community. This is especially important because of the stigma of ADHD and what he refers to as the reverse stigma of giftedness. He says, Find a community where you can share your stories and hear people say the thing you assumed only you thought. The importance of community is one reason he has focused on coaching and accountability group work in recent years. While some people view both ADHD and giftedness as gifts, Eric says they aren't gifts he'd choose to give anyone he cared about. However, they do offer opportunities. When obstacles are put in our path and we are able to find ways to work around those things, we may discover gifts as we discover workarounds, sometimes gifts of grit, Resilience, self-advocacy, self-determination, and self-awareness are what we find in our journey on the road less traveled. In short, tackle your problems and you shall grow. This information came from these websites. You'll find these links below this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch this series from the start. Next Friday, I'll be back with more Swedish pronunciation training. Till then, I only want to say three things. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and bye for now.